welcome to the next episode of the microbiology tube so today we'll be discussing on the morixella catharellis morixella catharellis are mainly responsible for causing the infections in the upper and lower lower respiratory tract infections in the adults otitis media in the infants and children so most of the bacteria uh, are beta lactamase uh, producers which means it is resistance towards the antibiotics uh, of cephalosporin group and the penicillin group. So Morixella catharellis is a cocaicep gram negative bacteria which are non-motile capsulated. So Morixella catharellis can be on the single diplococci short chain or in the tetrad form. Mainly it is found in the in the diplococci form. So one of the distinguishing characters is that so the diplococci uh, is not the actually the cocci that looks like a staphylococcus or a streptococcus like that so what actually the distinguishing features is that the one side is rounded so if this is the two bacteria so arranged in the diplococci so one side it is rounded and the adjacent side facing the each uh, cocci is a little bit flat which is also called as the kidney sept one so the distinguishing factor of this uh, of this bacteria is that it is a gram negative uh, diplococci so it is the gram negative diplococci so what does the gram negative means it takes the color of the carval fusion it takes the color of carval fusion if you use the carval fusion as the counter stain or it will take the color of safranin if you take the uh, safranin as a counter stain these bacteria are non-motile. These bacteria have the capsulate capsule, so it is a capsulated bacteria, and the wide is about 0.5 to 1.5 micrometer, and the length is about one meet one to three micrometer. So, in the biochemical properties, the first is the aerobic bacteria. So, it is the aerobic bacteria. So, it will only grow in the presence of the bacteria. Unlike the other bacteria such as uh, E. coli which is the facultative anaerobes and can grow in the both aerobic and anaerobic condition but Morexella catharellis can only grow in the aerobic, uh, media, uh, aerobic temp uh, environment. Next it is, it is the oxidase positive which means it is responsible for uh, producing the oxidase enzymes. It is also catalase positive means it is responsible for the production of catalase enzymes. Next it produces the biofilm which, which helps in the which helps to escape from the body immune risk, um, immune, immune system. So biofilms are the thick uh, are the layer that is surrounded uh, surrounded over the surface of the bacteria to escape the immune response from a body next is it is the indole negative so indole is one of the very common tests in the microbiology so uh, indole it is the indole negative it means it, it do not produces the enzyme tryptophanes next is the it hydrolyzes the tributarin means it is the lipase test positives that means here yeah, the bacteria is responsible for production of esterase enzyme this esterase enzymes will hydrolyze the tributarin and will form the clear zone of hydrolysis hydrolysis around the colonies of the bacteria along uh, um, uh, around the colonies of the morexella catharellis uh, bacteria so next is you can see a gram stained uh, smear uh, which shows the morexella catharellis so here you can see this is the diplococci uh, these are two one is here and another is here it is diplococci so it can be on the single form as well as like this or it can be on the diplococci so these are these bigs are the leukocytes so you can see a lot of this uh, rounded cell bacteria. These are the gram-negative diplococci, which is the Morexella catharellis. Now let's come towards the cultural characteristics. Uh, Morexella catharellis is the fastidious bacteria that requires X and the V factors. So that's why Morexella catharellis grows on the enriched medium such as the blood agar and the chocolate agar because blood agar consists of the X factor and the chocolate agar consists of the X and the V factor. The X factor means that is the hemin and the B factor means the biotin. So this uh, media has the X factor and the B factor. So it is so the Morexella catharellis grows well on this medium. 
so the environment uh, in which the morexella catharylis uh, is incubated should have the 3 to 7 percent of the carbon dioxide the temperature should be about 35 to 37 degrees centigrade and the incubation should be uh, placed on uh, for the 72 hours the colonical appearances is the non-hemolytic white or grays convex colonies with the entire margin and it has it has the freeable consistency means consistency means the colonies of the morexella catharylis can be can can be moved or slide from one play one one uh, from one place to another by the use of the inoculating loop so without dist without uh, uh, making any disruptions on the on the shape we can move this colony from one place to another place by the help of the inoculating loop so that that properties or, or that consistency is called the freeable consistency which is commonly called the hockey block uh, technique or hockey block this bacteria doesn't grow on the modified thyromartin medium so thyromartin medium is mainly used for the growth of the nasiria gonorrhea and the nasiria meningitis so in the thyromartin medium there is a cholestin sulfate so this cholestin sulfate will inhibit the morexella catharylis so we cannot use the thyromartin medium for the uh, for the isolations of the morexella catharylis though we use this medium for the isolations of the nasiria species that's all for today thank you for watching the video